All right, this is Resident Evil 4 on PC, which I've been playing for days. Um, I just got to the castle. Um, I only play a few hours at a time. As I do with a lot of games, I don't have the attention span to sit here. And there's, there's very few games that I can play for more than like two hours at a time. So I usually play, like I'll come home from work, and I'll have dinner, and then I'll play like two hours. So I just watched Digital Foundry's video on the PC port of Resident Evil 4. And um, I was actually kind of surprised by some of the things they were talking about. Um, they had mentioned that the game has an issue for a lot of people crashing. Um, and it had never crashed for me. Um, I'm six hours in, I think. And uh, six or seven hours in. Plus the time I put in, uh, went through the demo a few times never crashed once for me um, but then I realized they're saying it usually crashes if you have ray tracing on and um, they also mentioned that the ray tracing probably looks makes the game look worse there's not a lot of ray tracing in terms of reflections it's mostly the water they mentioned that in all the RE engine games that ray tracing sometimes makes the water look worse there's a lot of added noise so optimize settings they say uh, let's just like scroll all the way down to the bottom um, for some reason <laughs> we'll start at the bottom um, but they said turn hair strands off okay well it is by default um, I've seen it with hair strands on I wouldn't really say it looks better I mean when the hair's up close yeah it looks better but when it's when you're not like right up close it doesn't necessarily look better Sometimes it looks darker, like it's not reflecting as much light. Uh, obviously ray tracing off is what they recommend, and um, that's going to be off by default. Um, again, so ray tracing off. Again, I never had it on, hence I never had the game crash. Um, they say screen space reflections off, which I find surprising, but I, I do agree uh, when they showed the water, it probably looked better with it off which is kind of weird um, and it probably runs better with it off so um, high texture quality 8 gigabyte I don't okay so this is recommended how much VRAM the game's going to use I have 12 gigabytes of VRAM on my graphics card so you can turn this up and they recommend eight, even though it's warning us. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they recommend having that on eight. Uh, for the ambient occlusion, um, geez, okay, there it is. They actually don't recommend SSAO. They recommend this AMD Fidelity FX CACAO. I've never heard of that before. I actually wasn't aware that Fidelity, F Fidelity FX covered ambient occlusion, but um, apparently it looks better. Um, it looks less, they said, gamey. If you've ever seen bad, ambi an, bad ambient occlusion where like everything has a thick black outliney shadow around it, I mean, obviously this game's not that bad, but this supposedly just looks a little bit better, a little more realistic. Um, they said less gamey. Um, but I think this actually um, is a, it's gonna run a little slower versus the SSAO. So this is the one thing I think where we're, it's gonna run a little slower because they recommend hair strands off, ray tracing off, screen space, space reflections off, and all that's gonna make it run faster. And in some cases, again, look better because with ray tracing on, the water looks terrible with screen space reflections, the water still doesn't look great. Um, high volumetric lighting. Okay. Well, we can turn that on high, I guess. Um, shadow, high shadow quality. That was on high by default. And shadow cache on. Okay, that's on by default. I think they said it runs a little better if you have that on. I believe. I believe that's what they said. Alright, 
so let's go back um, and start a new game in this game I think so well sorry this isn't really relevant to the game <laughs> um, I was gonna say in this game I think when you if you're recording in the menus and then you start a new game like once it loads into the 3d engine we might not be recording right now so I'm just gonna double check again make sure we're still recording And I don't have the frame counter on. Shit. Okay, well, I gotta exit the game. <laughs> Alright, so we're back in the game. Um, so, yeah, we're at 112 frames per second. And um, before it was 109. Um, when I played through the demo, it was 109 in these outdoor parts. Almost, like, most of the time. And when I got the retail version, it was also at 109 in these outdoor sections. Uh, and the reason I mention that is because um, a lot of people said the retail game ran better than the demo. Like, it was better optimized. And I didn't notice that. Like I said, for me, the demo, this part outside, was running out of 109. And when I got the retail version, it was running out of 109. <laughs> And um, in the Digital Foundry video, they said the same thing. They said there's no more optimizations. How it ran in the demo is how it's going to run in the real game or in the full game. So that, that was my experience. So I think that was true. I think maybe some people, they got driver updates. Like maybe they played the demo and then they got a driver update like for their NVIDIA or Radeon drivers. Um, and then they played the retail game and it ran better. And it wasn't because... The retail game got optimized. It was because they got a driver update in the meantime. I'm guessing. Um, like I said, one thing they mentioned. they mentioned, So they mentioned um, the game having some visual issues, which I didn't notice. And they mentioned the game crashing for a lot of people, which never, I did again, never happened to me. Games never crashed once on me. But again, it's mostly when you have ray tracing on. The, other, the third thing they mentioned, like I said, I did notice, and that was the occasional stutter. So you'll notice in this game that it runs very, very smooth. Um, like typically, your your average frame rate or whatever um, is is running very smooth. But there's key spots where there's always going to be a stutter. And I played through the demo twice, and I had stutter here. And then I played through the retail version. I tried this spot a couple of times, and I noticed the same thing. And it's right when you get near this dead goat. And there it is. I'm pretty sure you probably noticed that. And you probably noticed that when I was playing through the demo. Um, it stuttered for me there every time. Twice in the demo and twice, two or three times I noticed it in the retail version. But you'd get a little stutter right around here. And um, that's the thing with this game is there's areas where it's loading like what's upcoming. Um, and the the way they kind of explained it is that it doesn't load in stuff kind of like like it should load it in over like a longer period of time but it doesn't it's just suddenly it has to load a lot as soon as you hit like a key spot um, and um, so the game's gonna run really smooth like most of the time but every like once in a while you're gonna get a stutter and you're probably going to get that stutter in the same spot. So, yeah, if you've seen me playing the game, you've seen it. when you've seen me playing the demo, and when you if you've watched, I posted a couple of videos playing the game. Yeah, there's uh, there's like the odd little stutter, a hiccup, if you will, uh, every once in a while, and that is when the game's loading like the next area into RAM or whatever into video RAM. Um, they said the higher your frame rate is, the more noticeable it's going to be. Um, so, yeah, so supposedly with these optimized settings, um, well, it is. It is running a little bit um, faster. Um, no doubt there. We're running like an, an average like 5 to 10 frames per second faster, I think. You know what key? But it looks a little bit better, supposedly. In certain areas, um, again, Leon's hair 
when you're not right up close, like in a cutscene. Like when you're just playing the game in the normal camera view, um, his hair is actually probably going to look better. And just him in general is going to look a little bit brighter. Um, sometimes with certain settings, um, with I think with the SSAO, for example, instead of the, uh, was the CACAO, um, just Leon at times will just look too dark in general for whatever reason. Um, so, yeah, and then a lot of uh, noise around veg vegetation was something that um, they pointed out. And once they pointed it out, like, side by side, it was definitely noticeable. Uh, I would say fairly noticeable, but again, it's not something, like, I noticed. It's... <laughs> You kind of have to just stand in a spot outside and watch the vegetation kind of blowing around in the wind. And, like, there's a little bit of noise around the vegetation. Uh, very minor thing, but that's kind of, like, that's kind of what Digital Foundry does. <laughs> right? Um, you know, they really key, key in and... and you know, zoom in and look at all the different aspects to see what kind of changes these these settings make. And I like it when they do that in the videos. I like it when they have the, the optimized settings um, because it really gives you the best, um, like, balance. It's the best combination of, combination of settings. He'll weigh in, like, if you watch the videos, almost all their PC videos where they do the optimized settings, They'll go through all the settings and they'll say, you know, this setting makes it look a little bit better, but it, it was a 20% hit in performance, so we don't recommend it. This setting makes it look a lot better, and it was only a 2% <laughs> hit in performance, so we do recommend that you have that on. And they go through all the settings, and his optimized settings, in this case it was Alex, he does a lot of the, the PC stuff for DF Retro. Um, and then he gives you the optimized settings, and yeah, I think it's it's worth uh, watching that because, like, a lot of times I just set everything to high um, or default. But like in this case, the SSAO by default, the C C A C A O looks better. And um, yeah, it's there's just certain things where like you, you might want this on ultra, and you might might want this on medium as opposed to just having everything on high. And in the end, you might end up with a game... <laughs> you might end up with a game that looks slightly better and runs slightly better. So it's kind of it's kind of worth doing. Um, so I, I just thought we'd take a look at that. Um, uh, again, I never had any issues with the game crashing, but apparently that's mostly if you have the ray tracing on and... I think it was like something to do with the shadow cache, maybe a combination of things there. Um, but again, the ray tracing arguably in this game looks worse, and it's going to make the game run worse anyways. So if it's going to make the game run worse, possibly look worse, and possibly crash, <laughs> it's like, forget about ray tracing. And I usually do anyways, but um, hence I never had the game crash. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Optimized settings for Resident Evil 4 on PC. And again, I'm not taking any credit for this. This is all Digital Foundry. And like I said, their videos for PC games and their optimized settings are usually well worth looking at. So yeah, that's it, guys. See you later.